Okay, so let's get uh, Tuna Studio uh, MS and uh, our Mega Squirt MS3X running in Ubuntu. A little bit more awkward than Windows, so I uh, thought I'll uh, just a bit of a walkthrough really. Uh, it's not difficult, there's just uh, a few things to do. So first of all we need to uh, install Java. I like to install the uh, the proper version rather than the free uh, well the, the the Oracle version. So um, that's what you're going to type. You're going to open up uh, terminal and uh, you're going to type in that. Once you've typed in that, you're going to do an update like this. You will have to put your passwords in and whatnot. Once you've done that, we can then go and install it. So uh, that's how you're going to install it. You're going to type that command, hit enter, and uh, it will install it. It takes, uh, takes a little bit of time, but uh, well, it doesn't mind this little netbook anyway, because it's, it's quite slow. So once you've done that, you uh, we also need to install the uh, GNOME system tools. Now we're going to do that because, there it is, it's just an easier way of adding um, groups to uh, your user, which we need so that um, Ubuntu can talk to the, uh, the Mega Squirt. So go ahead and install that. And uh, I'll just get us to the, the next part. There we go. Right, so let's minimize that and show you how to... Once you've installed the, uh, the Java and the GNOME system tools, I suggest you do a reboot. A minimum a logout, but uh, I, I like a reboot. You're going to go up to the top here. I'm going to search. And... Uh, if you type in here, oh, I've already typed. If you, if you type in user, it'll find everything. Now, you don't want this one. This is the one that you've normally got. You want this one, user groups. That's the one we've just put in. That's the GNOME system tools one. This one here doesn't have the power we require, and I'll show you in a sec. So we open up the users and groups, and we have this tab here which we don't have if we just open user accounts. If we click on there, we can choose in here, dial out, and then we add it, lock, which uh, I don't think I have, no, it doesn't matter, or, because you can use either or, you, you, CP, there it is, and you add that, close that all down. So then you've added those groups to the user you've selected. We can come out of that now. So now we've done that, those are the uh, most awkward bits really. We need to go and download Tuna Studio. You will, once you've added those groups, you probably will have to log out and log back in. You, now I'm a bit OCD, so I do I always do a restart. So you're going to go to Tuna Studio, EFI Analytics, uh, um, I think is the website, and uh, download Tuna Studio for Linux. Comes as a tar file. You're going to double click it or right click it and extract. It's up to you. I suggest you put it here in Home. It'll extract folder here. And in that folder, we're going to run this file. But unlike Windows, we can't run it just from there. So we're going to have to run it from the terminal. So plug in your uh, USB port from your tuner from your Mega Squirt into your uh, computer. And then we need to change the directory because uh, we're just in uh, the root directory at the moment. So we need to type change directory. There's a space here. That's a space there. 
Follow slash home, Jonathan Tunes Studio MS. You have to be accurate. Um, here, that's my user. So you're going to want to type in your user, whatever that might be. Might be a name, might be something completely different. You might even change home to something, but most probably the home and the Tunes Studio will be okay. You'll just need to alter that. Likewise, if you actually don't install it in your home directory, you will have to put whichever directory here that you've put it into. So we do that and click enter, and now we're in Tuna Studio directory, that folder I've just shown you. What we can do then is run the file. I've already typed it, so there it is. By typing that dot slash tuna studio dot sh which is the name of that file and we run that and then we wait hopefully it'll come up sometimes it crashes on this there we go so once we've done that we can uh, We've got Tuna Studio up and running. Now, you'll want to create a new project. So, just click on Create New Project. Give it a name. My car. Whatever. Now, what we need to do is turn on the... Oh, we're on now. There we go. Turn that now. And we can detect the firmware. Now it's found it here. We can accept that. Which is here. And we can click next. We can leave all these standard and once you click next it just goes through, uh, make sure that's 115, 200. We don't need to test the port. So basically we're just nexting, we're just agreeing with everything really. And then just click finish. I've always found in uh, once it doesn't seem to load them up properly, you can pick another one. And it does show them, but um, if we just choose the default, there we go. It does sometimes show it in black. So anyway, click finish. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually load my project otherwise it won't work correctly with that project. As you can see there's the one we've just created. I'll select that one. Now it'll close down the uh, and uh, close down the my car one which was just to show you how to do it and it'll load up the correct one okie dokie so now we can turn these this is RPM course and we should there we go everything should work. So there's the RPM. We've got the uh, oxygen sensor. If you go too far they will turn red. You can set that though. 
the throttle position. Yeah, that's all okay. Coolant temperature. And the uh, manifold air temp. There are other ones, but it's only uh, simple on here. And we can see I have actually set it to uh, run a V8. The, uh, the refresh rate on my phone is going to just make it look like it's uh, stood still, or a bit like a strobe effect. Let's turn them down a bit, see if you can see them. There we go. I know it looks like there are some missing, but um, that's just the camera. So there we go. What we've got it, we've got it set up as a V8 sequential, and we've got. Um, the cam input here, which is the uh, second trigger, and then uh, we've got it set for uh, primary attack with the uh, 12 volt pull up VR and um, 5 volt pull up for a haul for the cam just to get it up and running and a 36 one toothed wheel so there we go that's how to get your mega square up and running in ubuntu